Hey guys, today we're talking about the best whiskeys under 35 bucks. Hey guys, welcome back to Jen's Lounge. I'm George, back again with Denver. Today we're talking about the best whiskeys under $35. We were going to make this uh, under 30 video, but we wanted to include some scotches, so we had to up it <laughs> five bucks, which still isn't a lot of money, but a lot of these are a lot lower than 30. So we're just gonna jump right into it. If you haven't checked out our how to taste whiskey video yet, I'll have a link to that down below. So maybe you can grab one of these and then learn how to taste that whiskey while you're watching that one. But up first, Four Roses Bourbon. Four Roses Bourbon. Um, what do you know about Four Roses actually? So Four Roses Bourbon, this guy right here, if, it is, if you see it in any well whiskey, mm -hmm. you know the cocktail is going to be phenomenal. Um, Four Roses is great, it's been around forever. It's actually, did you know, have you ever seen that famous picture from World War II where the sailor's kissing the lady? Yeah. There's a giant Four Roses billboard in the background of that picture. That's cool. It's, it's like the uncropped version. It just yeah. says Four Roses. Like, it's huge. That's it was amazing. In Times Square at that time, like, Four Roses has been around for a while and they've been making good stuff. Yeah, it's a very, very good whiskey. Um, sits at $15.99 at um, KNL Wines in, in California. I think yes. they're national as well. But so all of these are from KNL, the website prices. They might be different in your stores or your local grocery stores depending on where you are. But 15 bucks for this is unbelievable. unbelievable. Yes, they also do a small batch, which I think was 26 yep. and uh, or 23 20. 90, 99. Yeah, I know. It's phenomenal again. That is my that's my favorite bourbon. Yeah. Like for the price, unbelievable. Well, but if you think about it, like that's that's a price of one cocktail. Like that's phenomenal value. Really, really mellow. Really, um, really, really good sort of caramel. Caramel notes that come through, a nice level of oakiness, it's not too old. Uh, and they also have like single level aging instead of like multi level aging, so you end up with this mellow character, which they're well known for. So that's a signature style, but definitely go buy that one. Yes, I mean, it's good on the rocks, good neat, but it definitely holds up very, very well in a cocktail. This is like my go to cocktail bourbon at yeah. the house. Next one is Henry McKenna. It's Henry McKenna 10 year old single barrel. I wrote a review about this one a while back and I said it was basically Heaven Hill's way of doing charity for the people that are in whiskey. The people that know, know, because the label looks like crap, the bottle looks like crap, but the juice inside is unbelievable. For a single barrel, 10 year old, for what is it, $25, 25 bucks on special. Like, if it's not on special, it's 30 bucks. Like, just go and buy it. Unbelievable. All right, guys, we're gonna run through this. There's 10 of them, so we're gonna yeah. go quick. Um, <laughs> up next, Bullet, Rye, or Bourbon. I prefer the Rye. Um, I do think there's better bourbons out there for the same price, but it was $22.99 on KNL. Um, the Rye whiskey is kind of my favorite. It was my first old fashioned. Yeah. Like, that's what I always made an old fashioned with, was Bur Bullet Rye, and it still holds a special place in my heart, <laughs> but for 22 bucks, can't beat it. Okay, uh, next one is very one, uh, one that's very near and dear to my heart, which is Glenlivet 12. Definitely go and try that. It's a sort of a good entry whiskey. It's not like your Isla Petey sort of right. smoky. It's just a really, really just nice whiskey, well balanced. Like definitely a good first scotch yes. to get into. Good first scotch. I, yeah, I mean, a lot of people, I know McCallum gets a, it's, for the lower stuff, I yeah. don't think it's worth the price. I yeah. think you're paying for the name more than how Correct. good it is on the inside. Correct. Glenlivet 12 and Glenlivet 15 are phenomenal. Yeah, agreed. All right guys, so I am a rye guy if you haven't figured that out yet, but Templeton Rye at 29 bucks is a steal. It makes cocktails that much better because the juice is that much better, um, but it's also really good over ice and just, you know, sipping out on the front porch with a cigar or something. Oh, mate, it's, it's a great, great whiskey again. Um, it's actually made by MGP in Indiana from what I know. Um, but that, that's not a bad thing when people source whiskey and age it properly and they're open about it. So that, that's, a, that's a really great sort of whiskey out, that's out there, like Templeton. And they also do other stuff as well, but that's a good brand to check out. Next one for me is another whiskey. Now this, this is made by this brand called Compass Box. Not a lot of people know Compass no, Box. Never heard of it. Yeah, you've never even tried this one. <laughs> but like uh, Great King Street, there's two of them in this sort of price range. It sits at $34.99 at KNL. Uh, Glasgow. Uh, blend and an artist blend. Um, this brings back 
the skill in blending. So a lot of people assume that single malt whiskey is better than blended whiskey. Right. So like things like Glenlivet or whatever, there's a whole d bunch of different brands that do Better than malt. Dewar's or Johnny Walker? Or Shivers or, or... Yeah, any of these. But this, there is a lot of skill in blending whiskey. And these guys are the trailblazers in this sort of industry right now. So I definitely go out there and buy this great King Street by Compass Box for $34.99. Phenomenal whiskey, really good base whiskies that go into this. Um, they also do a lot more expensive ones, but this is the entry level one. Really easy to drink. The red one is actually a little bit sweeter. I think that's more approachable for a lot of people. And then go to the artist one. So the Glasgow one, and then go to the artist one. Next come off the rank is the Highland Park Magnus. So a lot of sort of sherry um, aging in this one, but they start with bourbon like most of the brands do, and then go into sherry. Um, if I remember, it's still got the smoke on it though. Has a little bit of smoke. Has yeah. a tiny little bit of smoke on it. Um, comes from up in, it's the northernmost distillery actually in Scotland in Orkney. Um, and that's why you get all this kind of like uh, Viking sort of um, stuff going on here. But another really great sort of bottle. It sits at $34.99. Um, I would say it's kind of like an autumn, spring, winter sort of whiskey. Definitely. Not so much of a summer one, I feel. Um, all right, up next, um, Elijah Craig. We've actually worked with Elijah Craig in the past and they're phenomenal. 24 bucks for a bottle of that. It's a great bourbon. It has a good vanilla and caramel. It's more like your, your sweetness. Yeah. It brings the, the, the sugar. Yeah, it brings the sugar. <laughs> exactly. It's a nice, bold sort of tasting bourbon. Really great example of what bourbon, the definition of bourbon is to me. You know, yeah. definitely worth a shot on your shelf. Yeah, 24 bucks, so remember that, that's pretty cool. So the next one, next cab off the rank is Russell's Reserve 10 year old, uh, $27.99. Um, another solid uh, whiskey that comes from the Wild Turkey Distillery. So um, got to spend a bit of time there last week, and really, really great family that run that, um, and they produce some beautiful stuff. But this Russell's Reserve, uh, named after Jimmy Russell, their master distiller, just just great value. Like if we see that in Australia, $27.99, that would, I think that would sit around sort of the $90 mark for that <laughs> bottle. And it's just like that, it just makes me cry with tears of joy. It's like, it's a beautiful, beautiful whiskey for that money. I mean, 10 year old for 27 bucks. Yeah. It's insane, like you can't beat that. So last but not least, we added one more to the list because why not? So Rittenhouse Rye. If you like rye and you like bullet rye, Rittenhouse is like up two notches. So it's 100 proof which, you know, you're already getting the stiffness yeah. and the extra pepper from the, the heat in there. And this is my go-to cocktail whiskey. Like, I don't really sip this neat ever, because it's not really a sipper. Yeah. It's 100 proof, it's strong, and you at least gotta put some ice in it. But yes, if you have not checked out our how to taste, smell, and pick a good whiskey video, yeah. check that out. I'll have a link to it down below. Maybe you can grab one of these, and then grab one of these, and, uh, Try, yeah. try to uh, taste, smell, and pick a good whiskey. 100%, man. We worked with actually a few of these brands that are on this table in, in the development of this. So um, we had feedback from all over Kentucky and Tennessee uh, and then came up with this. So this should make it smoother, make all the notes a little bit more approachable. Um, you can split notes from top to bottom, uh, different sort of airflow, and it's titanium crystal. We replaced the lead. Amazing. Because it's better for your health. Yes. All right, guys. So if you don't know from our last video, Denver is making these hand-blown glasses. He makes a whiskey glass, a gin glass, and this bourbon glass right here. I'll have a link to those down below. You guys can check them out. But let me just tell you that, you know, if you were making an analogy to a car, this would be like driving to work in a Mercedes versus driving to work in a Honda Civic with a regular glass. Yeah. So you're gonna get there either way, but this is gonna be a much more exciting ride, I'm gonna tell you that. So once again, thanks for watching guys, really appreciate it. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, hit that right now, hit that little bell icon so you get notified every time we release a video. Thanks to Denver for stopping by. Be sure to check out Denver and Lylee. I'll have a link to that down below and let me know if you guys have ever tried any of these bourbons on this list. Cheers guys.